Let's be very clear. This moment belongs to the scientists of Indian Space Research Organization. Despite Chandrayaan 3, even though it continues to bring experiments and could not land, it was the moment that they had worked hard for that now, as you can see, these cheers mean so much. India, of course, is celebrating with them. But it is these scientists who put in all that hard work of the past four to five years, probably more, to ensure Chandrayaan 3 land. And India is thankful and grateful to the scientists and a cost-effective project of 615 crores. Nagarjun Dwarkanath continues to be with me. Uh, Nagarjun in Bengaluru, where the ISRO headquarters are located. Uh, I'm sure the mood is celebratory, but what next? Because the job really has started now. These are all eyes on the payloads. There are totally six payloads as well, which carries out different experiments on the uh, lunar surface for the next 14 days. Yes, the celebration done last evening, and everyone did hug each other, thank each other till late night, wishes poured into the ISRO scientists. But this morning, we have heard that the rover Pragyan has come out of the lander completely, and it's on its way, it's taken its first steps on the moon. All eyes on the results, because this is not just the data for Indians or uh, any, one, any one particular sector, but it's for the humanity, for the whole globe, that data for the coming generation, how useful it will be, because this is the first time no country has gone to southern pole of the lunar surface where large part of the sunlight doesn't reach, and hence uh, they see that water molecules could be quite evident there and trapped there as ice molecules. Uh, that would be an interesting uh, uh, data as well. And also the six payloads have specific uh, jobs to, uh, to do, do it on the lunar surface, specific mm. experiments would be carried out, testing of the soil, uh, infrared imaging, all of it would be yes. done uh, by the six payloads. So the next 14 days would be quite crucial for this region. So ra now really the main mission begins for ISRO scientists, which is to conduct as many experiments as possible, whether it's about the lunar surface, its soil, it's the atmosphere, all of that they can find, which India's information will then be sent out to the scientific community of the world. Nagarjun Dwarkanath bringing us latest on that. Nagarjun, thank you very much for now. Remember, the scientists have spoken and cheered. Uh, the Netas have spoken and expressed, of course, congratulations to ISRO. Our celebrities are not far behind either. Here's what our celebs have to say. मैं इस मौके पर सभी देशवासियों को नतमस्तक होकर और खासकर हमारे इसरो के साइंटिस्ट को नतमस्तक होकर प्रणाम करता हूं और कहता हूं कि उनकी ये सफलता पूर्ण रूप से पूर्ण हुई और हम चांद पे पहुंचे हैं अभी हम मैं अपने एक्टिंग स्कूल में अपने सारे स्टाफ के हाथ बैठा था मैंने इतना उल्लास हर उम्र के लोगों में कभी नहीं देखा है ये जा रहा है वो भारतवासी ये जा रहा है वो हिंदुस्तानी जिसका मुल्क हम अकेले पहले देश हैं जो साउथ में लैंड किए हैं it's a matter of great pride for for not just me, uh, the Indians, the ISRO scientists, but the entire world. I mean, <laughs> congratulations, ISRO. I'm going to be blabbering today, so forgive me, but what an achievement. I'm so, so happy and proud, and as everybody should be in India. Dude, this is insane. पूरे भारत को और पूरे भारतवासियों को पूरे भारत के साइंटिस्टों को वैज्ञानिकों को हमारे आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी को हमारे जितने भी अधिकारी हैं इस पूरे मिशन से जुड़े हुए सभी को बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं हैं बहुत बहुत बधाई है कि जिस घड़ी का हम सबको बहुत ही इंतजार है हृदय से वो शुभ घड़ी आ गई है